Hey guys! So today is going to be an update on my hair. If you guys have been watching the past couple of my recent videos and you've looked in the bottom bar, you've noticed that I haven't really been including what hair extensions I've been wearing, and that's because I actually have in Great Lengths hair extension at the moment. And if you guys aren't familiar with what Great Lengths, I already, I can like never say it. I like always get tongue tied. That is bonded in hair extensions. If you aren't familiar with bonded in hair extensions, I will show you really quickly before we go on. This is what bonded in hair extensions look like. They are just obviously individual, about that big, of bonded in hair. So you can see all these little bonds all in my hair. And they just look like that. That is a keratin bond. Keratin is the same exact thing that your natural hair is made out of. And it's gently heated and then twisted around your hair. So, that's what I have all over my entire head. I have five bundles in my hair, start, you know, starting from all the way here, and then they go all the way up to about right here. All over my entire head. First day, oh my god, horrible. I was like, oh, these hurt so bad. Like, I couldn't lay down. I couldn't put my head down or anything like that. But then the next day, they were fine. It's just when they're right at your root, they kind of hurt a little bit. But now they've kind of grown down. Like I said, I've had them in. Actually, I don't know if I've said this. I've had them in for two weeks now. It's pretty cool to just wake up and go and not have to clip your hair and you can put your hair up on top of your head. Don't have to worry about anything. The reason that I got um, Great Lengths hair extensions is because I feel like on YouTube I'm kind of known as the hair extension person. Like I am overwhelmed with hair extension questions on a daily basis. And people always want to know what's the best kind. And the only two I'd recently had before was clip-in hair extensions and glue-in hair extensions. Glue-ins, <laughs> clip-ins. Ah. So the reason that I did go get these was a lot to do with YouTube because I wanted to be able to tell you guys my experience in them and what I personally thought about them. The main thing that you want to do if you're going to get bonded in hair extensions is one, I would definitely, definitely, definitely go with great lengths. I did tons of research. I've been researching bonded in hair extensions for probably about three or four months and I found that great lengths are the best that you can get and a lot of other like bonded in hair the bonds are really big like you can't see these bonds like in my hair at all and now that they've like I've had them in for about two weeks you can barely like feel them when you rub the back of your head and lots of people have told me you know don't get bonded in hair extensions it'll ruin your hair blah 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 well the girl that I went to um, in Tampa at Salon Monaco's where I went and got these done she's had 10 years experience in great length so that's what I was looking for I was looking for somebody who knew what they were doing I wasn't looking for somebody that just took the great lengths course just got out of hair school to do hair no I wanted a professional so I found her thank God she said she's worn great great lengths for nine years and she says like anything it all has to do with you she's like if you take care of your extension she's like it's not gonna do anything bad to you your hair and she also takes before and after pictures of your hair mainly before pictures because she says that people get so used to having their hair in that they kind of think that this is what their hair looks like this ain't what your hair look like girl um, that when they do get them removed they're like oh my god my hair is so thin it's so damaged look what these extensions did she whips out that before after and she's like no not really look at your hair before it looks pretty much identical I like that I know that my hair is damaged like I'm not gonna front act like oh yeah girl my hair is so good no I have damaged hair that's why I wear hair extensions hello if I had naturally flowing beautiful hair I wouldn't be clipping and weave would I no I wanted to get these because I like to base my opinion on my own experiences I'm not gonna not get something done because one person said oh my god I had the worst experience you know it's kind of like when people are like you're like oh did you like that new movie they're like no it was horrible and then you go and watch it and you're like what was that person talking about this is the funniest movie of life I have to experience things for myself so that's why I went and got these done um, it took her three hours to actually put in five bundles of hair it actually took them longer to color correct my hair it took them four hours to color correct my hair and only three to put on my weave in some things that you want to think about this hair is a lot of work girl like it's nice to get up in the morning and you know just go I can throw my hair up and just leave I don't gotta put my weave in or anything like that it's already in but you have to brush it at least twice a day I brush mine almost four times a day because I don't want it to get tangled I don't want anything to mess up and you have to get a kind of like special brush it has like um, 
plastic at the top and then like little bore bristles because this brush lets you get right up by your bonds so that you can brush them and there's no tangles around them. The reason that great length is considered like the Bentley of like hair extensions is because it's 100% human hair, it is a keratin bond, and it is the smallest, I believe, keratin bond that you can get with bonded in hair extensions. They will last you between four and six months, which is a really long time. People consider like, oh my god, those hair extensions are so expensive. Well, they kind of last you almost a half of a year, like if you take care of them. So you kind of have to weigh that out. Another thing is if you get them in, you have to wait 48 hours before you can wash your hair to make sure the bond's really, really set. You need to remember if you do get bonded in hair extensions, you have to use like a sulfate-free kind of shampoo and conditioner. And actually the one that I've been using, I'll show you guys, is the Macadamia Natural Oil Flawless, which looks like this. This is what I've been using. This is a new product hello I'm talking like this this is actually a new product from macadamia and it is a cleanse condition refine and perfect it's kind of like a all-in-one like you know the L'Oreal or the win you know it's one-stop shop kind of situation and it's weird it's like um do you guys see all that it's like a oh like a foam but not really a foam and it's like kind of thick it reminds me more of like a shaving cream situation I wish it smelled like the whatever, but it's sulfate free, it's paraben free, it's what I use on my hair when I get in the shower, it's the only thing that I use, I don't use a shampoo or a conditioner, that's all that I use on my hair. Let me show you what my hair looks like wet, as you guys can see. This is what it looks like when I get out of the shower. It has a really like curly texture to it, which I love because when it dries, it just dries to like a natural like curl. So on days that I don't really blow dry my hair or anything, I still have this like nice body wave to it, which I like. And then I put it up and it's like curly and full and everything. So I like that. The hair dryer that I use is the TGR 4000i. Um, it seriously blasts my hair. It cuts down drying time like that. Um, it's crazy how fast it like blow dries my hair because like I said I have a lot of hair on my hair head now show you guys what it looks like So then that's what my hair looks like when it's completely blow dried, but pff, that's what it looks like when it's straight. So it looks like a big fur ball when you blow dry it because I'm not taking time to round brush and all that. I don't have time for all that. As you can see, I blow dry like a mad woman and it just gets the job done and I'm just going to straighten it anyway. So what's the point of blowing it out? <laughs> I don't have time for all that. Never did never will let's just talk about a few of the little cons well these are only cons to me they could not be cons to you one is I didn't realize how much I actually loved clip-in hair extensions the reason I love clip-in hair extensions so much is the versatility the customization of them some days if I want to wear my hair this short I can if I want to wear it down to my ankles I could you know what I mean like if I want to clip more on this side or if I want to clip more up when I have a when I put my hair up I can do that with clip-in hair extensions. I can't do that with this hair. And this hair, even though it's a lot of hair, I feel like it's half the amount of hair that I normally wear when I wear clip-in extensions. And it does look like a lot of hair because it is a curly, like, textured hair. So I feel like that's what gives it more of, like, a voluminous look. But when it's all said and done, like... I technically wear more hair than this when I wear my clip-in extensions. So... I will do the ride out. I do love these things. It's cool, like I said, to wake up in the morning, do your hair and go, and not worry about clips showing or anything like that. But I think after the four to six months is up, I'm just going to get them taken out and go right back to my clip and hair extensions. We'll see. I'm about two weeks in and I miss my weave. They're like sitting over there and I like look at them all the time and I feel guilty. They're like, how could you? How could you leave us? I'm like, Shh, I'll be back. <laughs> what else do I want to talk about? I don't really put any products in my hair anymore. Like, I don't put any oil or anything. Like, maybe it's, it's like, super fresh hair, so it's not dry or anything. Like, I, if you guys can see, like, how shiny it is, it's super shiny. 
The color that I have in is 1B, which is kind of like a dark brown color, even though I do look black on camera. It is like a brownish color. Um, so yeah, the only product that I use is my macadamia. I brush my hair almost, I probably like four to five times a day I brush my hair. I'm always brushing my hair when I'm at home. It's easy, that brush feels so good on your head. It's like, ugh. So I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. If I left something out, please leave me a comment down below and make sure you guys check the bottom bar for lots of info and anything that I forgot to mention in this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.